Welcome to our webcast, How Thermofab Harnesses Rise 3D Printing to Deliver Industry-Leading Turnaround Times of Higher Quality Thermoforming Products and Services. My name is Julie Reese, and I'm VP of Marketing at RISE. I'll be your host for today's webcast. Since it was founded in 1976 by President Tom King, Thermofab has distinguished themselves for delivering unparalleled thermoforming quality, accuracy, superior service, and an astonishingly fast four to six week turnaround time for companies seeking custom plastic enclosures in quantities ranging from dozens to thousands. Focused primarily on the medical, industrial, computer, and armed services markets, Thermofab has an impressive portfolio of clients such as L3, Mako Surgical, Locus Robotics, Cisco, Starry, Transmedics, Biotech, and many more. Tom believes in leading, not following. This innovative philosophy drove his interest in adopting 3D printing at Thermofab. After observing the 3D printing industry for a year and carefully evaluating Stratasys and RISE 3D printers, he purchased a RISE 1 3D printer due to its unique ease and speed of support removal without solvents following 3D printing. Thermofab uses their RISE 3D printer to produce fixtures for setting up production rather than using blocks of CNC machined aluminum. Says Tom, we produce low volumes of high-end equipment producing five to ten or up to hundreds of parts per month and they have to be right. Producing aluminum blocks took longer than 3D printing. Thermofab's engineers also use RISE 1 to produce prototypes of small thermoformed parts such as faceplates, faceplate backings, housings, and more for form and function testing before manufacturing the final product. Using RISE 1 instead of CNC machining to manufacture fixtures is speeding Thermofab's process at lower cost. Moreover, 3D printing saves time by eliminating tooling errors. RISE 3D printing is also reducing errors before expensive tooling is cut. In one case, for example, a 3D CAD model of a very large part was created from a 2D drawing, scaled down, and 3D printed prior to cutting the tooling. Printing that part exposed a curve in the design that couldn't previously be detected in the actual part, averting a costly error. Tom says, we're happy with every fixture we've made. Always innovating, Thermofab also produces experimental parts on their RISE 1 3D printer, testing their possibilities to continue to improve their process and expand their services. For example, they plan to use RISE 3D printing technology to manufacture tooling. According to Tom, the more you play, the more you learn, and the more you learn, the better you get at it. Thank you for attending our webcast today. For more information about RISE, visit our website at www.rise3d.com.